Hey, what is going on guys? So today we're going to be taking a look here at the Master Grade Gundam F90. Now, you may not be able to tell by the box art, but this was a P-Bandai release. Now, P-Bandai normally comes out in just the monochrome box art, but this is one of the rare ones that comes with the full color box art, which is nice, it's cool, it makes for an awesome box, but it's just a shame that it didn't come out as a standard release, of course, considering this is an entirely new mold. Now, we've seen that come in HG form. A couple of HG P-Bandai kits have been entirely new, uh, but this is the, the the first time I think that we're getting a Master Grade that is an, an entirely new Master Grade that is entirely P Bandai. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It it sucks, but that's just what Bandai decided to do. So, I don't really know what else we can really do much about it except for just bite the bullet if you really want to get this really cool design. Now, there is has been a couple of different armor sets uh, for this out, and I think they're probably going to be making maybe some more. I think probably. But I'm not really too into those, really. The base Gundam, though, I think does look pretty awesome, so I want to check this kit out. But I don't think I'm going to be getting any of the extra add-on sets for this. I don't know, but we'll see what else comes out in the future. Anyway, in the meantime, big thank you to USA Gundam Store for making this review possible. As you guys may know or may not know, that they do also carry some P-Bandai stuff as well. So if there's some P-Bandai stuff coming out that you may want to make sure that you can grab, make sure you pre-order that over there on USA Gunham Store. The link to their site is down below, as always, as well as my coupon code there, Zacharelius10, that saves yourself 10% on that stuff as well, and everything else on their site. So, yes, the box art here is really cool looking, and it's nice that it's all in color, of course. So let's go around the rest of the box here, shall we? On the top and bottom, we just got kind of the same thing there. Let's go around here over to the side. Here you can see a look at the front view, what the Gundam's gonna look like. It definitely has that sort of era of Gundam, at least the uh, F90, F91 sort of feel to it with all the color separation, all the little bits of color apps everywhere. Definitely has that kind of 90s look to it. There's some detail shots of the head, the backpack underneath the feet, the weaponry there. It's pretty standard weaponry for this shield, beam rifle, beam sabers. But the beam sabers, are, beam sabers are in blue instead of pink this time, so that's different. If you look at the back of the kit, I like all the exposed frame there on the back of the legs. That's pretty cool. Interesting design feature for that. It's got some markings for this. I believe this should come with some water slides with it being a P-Bandai Master Grade, but we'll see once we get the box popped open. I don't remember offhand. Uh, it does have the E-cap there on the back of the beam rifle. The cockpit hatch opens up, of course. And then the shield is just mounted there onto the side. Already got the extra e cap stored in the back of the shield. That's what that's showing there. Anyway, over here on the other side, a little bit about the gimmicks, the articulation of that. The articulation of this kit looks really, really nice as well. So with it being a brand new kit, I'm assuming the inner frame one is going to be pretty cool, pretty good. Uh, hard points there for mounting the different so accessory packs. You can see here is showing uh, F90 A to Z project. So you can mount the different stuff on there if you get any of those extra add-on packs for this. And so the list price on this guy was 4,000 yen, so very affordable if you can get it for anywhere close to that. But as you can see, it's in the smaller MG box and it's not very deep either. So with it being uh, an F90 kit, you can expect this gun to be a little bit on the smaller side as well. So, I mean, that said, it is an entirely new Master Grade and we've got a good amount of plastic in here and really nice color separation as it looks like. So I think that price tag is very reasonable. All right, there is those water slides. We'll take a look at those more closely in a moment. Just go through the runners here. We've got a good amount of white and blue, obviously, and then gray, those being the main colors of the suit. We've got some foil stickers there as well, of course, just a few of those. Let's get a look down here at the manual. All right, so we got the big 90 up there at the top. F90, Gundam F90, there you go, okay and just the box art illustration once again. So normally on a P-Bandai kit, this is what's nice to see because on the front of the box it's in monochrome, but in here it's full color, but at least in this case we got it full color on the box too. So there you go. On the back side, we got a full big uh, front look of the painted version of the kit. So that's a nice reference image for you there. Pretty cool design on this one. I'm not always into a lot of the F90 designs, a lot of them are a little bit too much for me, but this one I think is really nice. It's a little bit too colorful for me as it is. I'll definitely be repainting it in some different colors, but the design is pretty cool. I like it. So, opening it up to the inside here, and it's looking very much not very P Bandai, with this middle section also being like fully done. It's not typically done like this for P Bandai kits, but it's cool when it is, I guess, if we gotta pay the extra for it being a P Bandai. And it's nice to have this extra stuff in here. So we got MS tracks in UC120 there in counter with the Oldsmobile. <laughs> so 
a little bit there about the story. You got that in Japanese and very, very super tiny English there. We got the painting guide down over here, the one step technique about panel lining. And then over here, just talking about the mechanism, it's kind of just focusing on the hard points again. So basically, they're really trying to sell you the add on parts for this over there. But some of the add on parts, you know, they're pretty cool. Some of them, not so much. But it's all just personal taste, of course. And then weaponry down here is a little bit more about that. Again, it's pretty simple beam rifle, beam saber, shield, kind of simple, but they look great anyway. Okay, going up to the front pages, we got some more information here, SNRI mobile suits, and some more information there in Japanese and in English, so that's nice. A lot of stuff down here as well, just about the F series, the Formula Project mobile suits, so you can check that all out in English as well. Alright, then just uh, let's check out the parts list. So we've got all new parts for this, and it looks like nothing left over at all, and no poly caps for this, so just according to what I can see here on the runners. Not seeing anything crossed out, and yeah, no polycaps either, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so the construction will just go from the chest unit to the head unit, the arm units, and then finishing up the arms and then onto the waist unit and the leg units, and skipping over the middle page here, finishing up the legs, and then the backpack, pretty simple there. Why doesn't it say backpack unit? Weapons over here. Weapons, equipping the weapons, and it's got a crotch gimmick there where the crotch folds out for better articulation on a stand. We'll see that in the review anyway. And then just about uh, how to remove parts for the mission packs. So the backpack, the legs, the arms, the waist, all have little parts that you pull off there for the mission packs. And then there's a sample of the E electronic type and the S support type. So there you go. And then over here is the guide for where the markings are going to go on the kits. Now let's check out all the markings and runners and everything else. Okay, so here's that photo sticker sheet and as you guys can see it's pretty typical in that we've got stickers there for the eyes and the camera stuff. But then we got a bunch of these little triangle little sticker details that are going to be going on there. Red, yellow, white, and then a couple of black ones there as well. So a couple of little details that will need a little sticker action. We've got a black wire and then some mesh cloth tubing, very similar to what you've seen like for example in the Master Grade Gundam Mark II 2.0 kit or other Master Grades that have used this for some detailed parts there, probably for the frame I'm guessing. And then here's the water slide decals for it, we got the big 90, you got a smaller F90 there in red, some EFSF, uh, EFSF logo there, SNRI logos, and then some different caution markings and everything for this. The decals look very nice, very happy about that. We got SB13 for our beam saber effect parts here in the clear blue. Now these I believe are the 144 scale beam saber effect parts for this, which makes sense again since it's the, the F90 series mobile suits are a little bit smaller. All right, the runner A is in four colors. We've got a couple of clear parts there over on the side, some blue across the top and some red across the bottom. Those are all pretty standard, but the yellow is in a little bit kind of dullish, pretty honestly ugly kind of looking yellow color. I'm not really too into that. I would have preferred just a regular straight up yellow or a little bit more orangish yellow is kind of my preferred tone of yellow. But this one is what it is. I think when it's on the actual kit though, that's probably not going to be all that noticeable. It's just because you're seeing so much of it all in the same area that it looks a little bit kind of gross yellow, but I think it'll look fine on the kit. We'll see anyway. Runner B is just some armor parts in white. We've also got our seated pilot figure there. I don't think we have a standing pilot figure included with this, unfortunately or fortunately. I don't know. Most people I think don't really bother too much with those, but all the details, everything on these parts are looking very nice. The runner markings for these, by the way, is just Master Grade 100 scale Gundam F90. There's runner C, some more white parts, so this is going to be for the arms and the legs and all of that because we've got two of this C runner. Runner D is the first of our runners here for the inner frame parts and just some of this a little bit kind of bluish gray color here, parts for the hands and some parts for the backpack there as well. Now these parts are all going to be in ABS plastic, all the frame parts anyway, so this is the first of them. Then that's continued on here to runner E as well, more ABS plastic for these parts also. We've got two of this E runner. And then the F runner now is in a dark gray, it's going to be some parts for some more of the detail parts and things like that, as well as weapons parts on here. This runner also in ABS plastic though. And then we do also have runner F2 as well, which is just a copy of this portion of the runner up here. And then runner G would be some more blue parts for around on the kit here, and we've got two of this G runner. So as you can see there, it's not a ton of parts, but it's a pretty simple design. So as you'd expect, it's probably going to be a relatively simple build for this Master Grade, but the details do look really nice on it. The color separation, especially on the A runner there, there's a lot of little parts for making little bits of color there for the red and yellow parts that are going to be popping out around on the design. So kit looks like it's going to be a nice one. Not quite as complicated, of course, as the F92.0, 
but I think it is going to look pretty good alongside that one. So, all right, that is it for the unboxing, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you have questions or comments, of course, feel free to leave those down below. I'm sure there'll be plenty of grievances about the fact that this is a P Bandai kit. It's a shame, but anyway, that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all in the review coming up next. Have a good one. Bye, guys.